There are a lot of issues that divide gamers, like the one you're thinking about, or the other issue that you're now thinking about. But while those may be big disagreements, we can all agree on one thing. We like being able to play the games we pay for. And that's why YouTuber Ross Scott wants your help to stop publishers from destroying games. Scott decided to do something when Ubisoft announced they would be shutting down the servers for online-only racer The Crew, making it unplayable. Initially planning a class action lawsuit against Ubisoft in the US, Scott is now looking to challenge the company on a larger scale. According to Scott, this isn't really about the crew or even Ubisoft, which is good because I didn't know people liked the crew. The crew had over 12 million players and Ubisoft is headquartered in France, a country whose government apparently takes consumer complaints from anyone, even some jerk like me, if I wanted to. Ubisoft being the target is just a bonus. But it's not all up to France either. Scott hopes that just one country enacting a law on this issue could help save games worldwide. So to facilitate a global effort, Scott set up a website called stopkillinggames.com, featuring guides for how to take action depending on where you live. If you have any interest in game preservation, be sure to check it out. Or just do it because you hate Ubisoft, that's okay too. In other legal news, Roblox's motion to dismiss a class action lawsuit was denied by a federal judge in California. The lawsuit was filed in August and alleges the company has allowed an illegal gambling ring to prey on minors who use the online game platform. Anyone who buys Roblox's Robux virtual currency can use the third party gambling sites also named in the class action, but the average age of Roblox's player base is what, like two? <laughs> How do you feel my stomach? He's playing Roblox. In their motion, Roblox tried to argue that gambling with Robux doesn't count as gambling because you already lost the money when you purchased the Robux, comparing the virtual currency to amusement park tickets. The judge agreed they are like amusement park tickets, which he argued do have economic value even if they cannot be exchanged for cash. Though FYI, Robux actually can be exchanged for cash, something the judge points out in a fun twist on Roblox's own analogy. This isn't the only time Roblox has made a bad point about a scandal. Previously, YouTube channel People Make Games alleged that Roblox taking a 75.5% cut of Robux spent in user-made experiences exploits underage developers. When asked about this at GDC this year, Roblox studio head Stefano Corazza said, you could say Roblox is exploiting child labor, or you could say Roblox is creating job opportunities, saying, quote, I can be like 15 years old in Indonesia living in a slum, but with just a laptop, I can create something, make money, and then sustain my life. Which is a fair point for places that don't have child labor laws. Like Indonesia's famous laptop slums. <laughs> There's been a bunch of news about upcoming games recently, so here's a roundup. The Silent Hill 2 remake has received an ESRB rating, suggesting a release date will be announced soon. And speaking of suggestive things, characters pole dancing in strip club settings can apparently be found in the remake. There was a popular myth that the original game contained a pole dance Easter egg. Bloober team may have been so faithful adapting the game, they added something that never existed. In Xbox news, Gears of War 6 will be revealed this year, according to Jeff Grubb and corroborated by The Verge's Tom Warren. Okay, anyway, the long-awaited Hollow Knight Silk Song got an Xbox Store page on April 1st, but it might not be a joke. The game also received a rating in South Korea, so there's hope. Dead Cells developers announced their new project, Windblown, a three-player co-op roguelite. The creators of the Ori series will be releasing their Soulsborn, Soulsborn, Soulsborn inspired Diablo-like action RPG, No Rest for the Wicked onto Steam Early Access on April 18th. Eternal Strands is the debut title from Yellow Brick Games, a studio led by longtime Dragon Age creative director, Mike Laidlaw. Scheduled to release next year, the game is apparently a blend of Shadow of the Colossus, Monster Hunter, and Tears of the Kingdom. And that's one smoothie I didn't know I wanted. And just today, Devolver Digital revealed The Crush House, a thirst person shooter, uh-oh, where you play the cameraman for a 90s reality TV show. Except there's a dark secret. They didn't say what the secret is, typical secret stuff, but I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. We shook pinkies. And that means something. <laughs>
What I can tell you about is our sponsor, Play Tracker. It lets you create your own personal gaming profile that works cross-platform. Play Tracker also offers free stats and graphs to help you win real arguments with your real friends on the real internet. With Play Tracker Insight, you can find out how many people own a game, how many are actively playing, and more. For professionals, there's a premium service with tools that let you gather data to answer important questions, like how many Elden Ring fans also play Stardew Valley. You can't be maidenless if you married Abigail. Head to playtracker.net slash insight to learn more. Hey, did you know that QuickBits intros are a little hard to write? Ha, <laughs> a little fun fact for you. A few interesting details about Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 emerged this morning. One, the graphics reportedly look incredible. Studio Ninja Theory is apparently looking to prove that Unreal Engine 5 can cause players to dissociate from reality. Just like hit action game hero and frequent crier Senua. Two, those graphics come at the expense of frame rate, as Ninja Theory confirmed the game would be capped at a cinematic 30 FPS on Xbox. Which is actually fine with me as someone who loved the first game. That's kind of the vibe. And three, Ninja Theory's co-founder and creative director, Tamim Antoniades, very cool name, has left the studio after 20 years for unknown reasons. Best guess, the graphics really are that good. He just, he lost grip. Pal World has released its first major update in a while, including new fixes, loot, quality of life measures, and a raid boss called Belle Noir that looks like Gardevoir from pa Pokemon, but goth. <laughs> You just know the fan art is gonna be wild on this one. You can also now far more intensely micromanage your sweatshops. And when a pal peels off to take a lunch break, you can slap the sandwich out of his mouth and get him back on task by drop kicking him across the room towards the nearest workbench. What is this game? The patch notes also hinted at an even bigger update coming this summer with new buildings, weapons, and tower bosses, as well as a whole new island. Just in case you felt the need to fully reenact the Caribbean plantation system with cartoon monsters. This has been Fun Facts with Jessica. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dragon's Dogma 2 players are going crazy for its Dragon's Plague feature. No, really, this in-game disease is driving many players to desperation and paranoia. You see, pawns are a kind of companion NPC in this game who can contract the Dragon's Plague, a disease that is incurable and can result in them infecting others or, say, going on a murderous rampage. The only way to get rid of it is if the pawn dies. If the player just dismisses them, they could wind up stumbling over to infect another player's party. Therefore, some players online are discussing how to signal to others that a pawn is plague-ridden, such as filling their inventory with wilted flowers or rotten fruit so you can smell the problem coming. At least one person has made a mod that just explicitly shows you when a pawn is infected, which honestly takes all the fun out of a plague. After hacking the PlayStation Portal streaming handheld to run the PPSS PPPSP emulator, it's pronounced PSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
I've had enough. 